Hey there, people. Well, I was talking to neighbor Dave last night, and uh, he asked me if I can drive him to uh, pick up a dog today. Um, I asked him what kind of dog it was. He says a sleigh dog. So, a husky, or he's not sure what kind of dog. But let's give Dave a call and uh, see if he's ready. Hi, Mars. I'm just on the phone long distance. All right. Um, so do you want me to meet you out there? Yeah, meet me out back, buddy. Okay. Okay, neighbor Dave. Hey, okay, bye. Bye. So, are you excited for getting your little puppy dog? Yes, very. Dog sled tour. Overnight visitors, please check in with office. Day visitors, please park here. Okay. Park here? Right here? Yeah. I'm parking here. I'm going in. No, don't go in. They get upset. They get upset with mom. Well, where can I park? Right there. I'm going to get stuck. Fuck them. There's Dave's new watchdog. Nobody's gonna fuck with him. Hey, buddy. Is that him? Is it a him or her? Oh, look at you guys. There's a new watchdog, don't mess with that one. <laughs> Hi, little buddy. Okay. So, so you don't care, female or male, doesn't matter? So she's just been dewormed. Okay. So it'll be normal if worms come out in her poop. Okay. Um, and because she's going to be in a new environment, it'll be normal for her to whine and be shy. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Pretty good, yeah? Good. Look at the cutie, eh? Okay. Thank you. The handoff. And the proud um, mama. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some food. Over there. Yeah, it's doing, yeah. doggy. So it's a female. Yes. Come up with a name yet? Toady. 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 The cutie pie. Fucking Dave's dog puked all the way from there to here. Letter from BC. I think it's from Paradox Designs. Huh. The wife. Coming home from work. I was up at the end of label and I'm like, who's that stupid parker on our street? It was you. Haha. <laughs> she got there. Murray Ferguson. Right. You gonna go see Dave? No, not right now. This puppy just got home. Well, we're on the road. We're gonna do a little scrapping. Scrap on, scrap on. Shit. Forgot my torches. I'm trying to get it loaded, but I can't seem to move it. I need a hand. Wish somebody was around to help me push it in. Yeah, man. Couldn't get that tank loaded. So maybe I'll come back with a few other guys and we'll push that in there. Okay, scrap on. A little bit of junk. Oh, there's a hidden fucking dishwasher back there. Nice. Load that up. Another little piece. It all adds up. Another piece. Every little bit helps. <laughs> right by John John's house. Some more junk. It's only a tin barbecue, but it adds some weight. It adds some weight. 
Well, I've had better days. I've had worse days. That should cover my beer for tomorrow. Look at that piece of shit. Okay, let's go in and have a beer. Well, it looks like I got some viewer mail. It's from Murray in BC. Uh, Paradox Design, I believe. Anyway, we're gonna get Shelly here to open it. I think it'd be easier if you talked without that cigarette in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be easier if you'd stop nagging on me. <laughs> Just open this shit. Yeah, well, you're mumbly Joe there. Mumbly Joe. Oh, mumble on. What do we got here? We got, oh, Paradox Designs. Oh, there. Got some business cards. Business cards. We got some Canadian Tire money, two bucks. Right on. This is the daily extra. It isn't where you come from, it's where you're going that counts. Tastes like chicken. Late 19th century explorers' accounts of eating such things as tarantulas, snakes, and monkeys as unusual venues were likely to claim that the newfound delicacies tasted like chicken, but the modern phrase dates to 1914 when Chicken of the Sea brand tuna fish appeared in markets. Its name and slogan designed to convince eaters who hated fish to imagine that their product was merely another, another can of foil. Oh, foul. Foul. And we got a note. Hey Marcel, you couldn't have sent this at a funnier time since I got the card on my way back from a multi-cent scrap operation. Bottles. Anyways, here's some of my cards and some goofy stuff. Cheers, buddy. Murray. Paradox Designs. Cheers to you, Murray. You people might know him as uh, Paradox Design. Tell you this two dollars of Canadian tire money is gonna come in handy. Buy me some shit with that, buddy. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.